My name is Julie. Uh, you're currently at Small Talk Vineyards um, and the home of Shiny Apple Cider. And it's a lovely place here. Can you tell me what it is that you're offering? Yeah, so we are actually um, have been primarily a winery uh, since 1990 when we opened, um, but recently, in the, since 2014, we started doing ciders, um, and that's hugely what we're kind of focusing on um, and known for, for sure. Our shiny apple cider is well-spread throughout Ontario, um, and yeah, we have four different flavors uh, right now, but we like to do a lot of seasonals and mix it up. Uh, if someone was looking to try your stuff, I know it's pretty unique when you start to get into the blends. Can you tell me a little bit about the original and then as you move forward to some of those unique stuff? Yeah, so our original cider uh, we make with nine different varieties of red Ontario apples. Um, we don't add sweeteners or flavorings to the process, so it's super refreshing. We get all those natural apple flavors, um, which is why we're using red apples, because they give you that sweetness without having to add it. Um, and then we like to, or we use that as the base to make all the other flavors that we do. So our other one um, that we have like the longest term is our Pinot Cider. That's a blend of 85% apple cider, 15% Pinot Noir wine. So it kind of mimics a sparkling rosé, um, but with that apple kind of body to hold it all together, it's super uh, well awarded. Um, and then uh, we have a peach cider where we blend in fresh um, Niagara peaches. So another... Uh, really a popular one in the summer for sure. And then um, perhaps our most well-known cider is our bootleg cider. Uh, we do apple cider with a bit of whiskey flavoring um, and it very much so tastes like apple uh, pie and vanilla ice cream. And that's relatively new, uh, if I recall from maybe last year or so that's come out and, and been pretty popular from what we've seen. Do you sort of notice people trending towards different styles or do they come in and, and kind of grab one of everything? Uh, a lot of people walk in and go, I was sent here to try, and it's the bootleg. <laughs> um, but for, like, in general, yeah, it it's, it's, depends on people's taste. I see, like, all of it going out, but bootleg is by far the most popular, yeah. And tell me more about here, because it's a gorgeous space. Mm -hmm, yeah, so um, the owners actually came over from Holland in 1954 and bought 200 acres of land here. Uh, so they started farming it and over the years um, have converted it then to a vineyard. So in 85, it was converted to vineyards. In 1990, it opened as a winery. Um, but they retired and their eldest son took over um, and he decided to give us a full rebrand. So uh, that's where all the color comes from. He has uh, definitely has the mind for marketing um, and it's it's been a huge hit. So his thought was kind of when you're drinking wine, you drink it any day of the week with your friends um, to have a small talk, right? So it's not this snotty thing that you need to save for a Friday night only with a steak. You can, nobody does that. Everyone's drinking it all the time. So that was the uh, concept behind small talk. And then our labels really represent that as well. Um, if you ever see them, you'll see that there's speech bubbles on them. So the whole idea is the front is things you're typically saying in that small talk and the back's what you're actually thinking. So. A little bit sassy, um, definitely memorable. Um, and then, yeah, when you see that in LCBO, it's hard not to grab that kind of bottle. And especially, like you said, there's the marketing aspect that you come in and it feels like a really comfortable, high-end, but approachable place. A lot like, I think, the product that you're offering. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we try and make it feel like you're coming over to a friend's house. So we've got couches and a fireplace in the winter. Um, we just really want you to be able to relax. So we have a patio as well, and we encourage you to enjoy your tastings out there. Whatever, uh, whatever makes you feel the most comfortable, basically. Do you do events here in the space? So we do a lot of evening events, um, like paint nights, plant nights, um, and then in the summer, we're uh, very well known for our goat yoga. So a bunch of baby <laughs> goats come in, and then people do yoga and also drink cider, which is, uh, yeah, pretty popular. Uh, for your distribution process, where can people get a hold of some of the products? So two of our ciders, our regular shiny apple and our blend with Pinot Noir wine, are both canned and in LCBO. Um, so those are throughout Ontario, uh, as well that a lot of our specialty flavors are in a lot of like bars um, in keg form. So you'll see that there, and then two of our wines are in LCBO as well. Uh, but other than that, yeah, just here in Niagara-on-the-Lake. Excellent. And uh, I guess we're, um, we're touring around and enjoying the area here. If someone was to come to visit, uh, what else would you suggest that they, uh, they try if they have, you know, a, a couple of minutes along the whole tour of, of everything? Like other wineries or or anything to do. Uh, so what I love about Niagara is we kind of have a bit of everything here. Um, we're really close to a ton of hiking trails. Um, we have a lot of bodies of water around us as well, Lake Ontario and Lake Erie. 
Um, so it's nice, like we do have some beaches. They might be not as nice as on the ocean, but we do have beaches, um, a lot of hiking. And then, yeah, you're in the middle of wine country. So you have that, um, a lot of craft breweries are popping up as well, which is always a fun thing to do as locals. Um, and then you're close enough to Niagara Falls or Toronto if you want to hop to a like big city for the day too, which is always nice. And uh, where can people get more information about what you have for offering and, and how to come here? Uh, shinyapplesider.com is our website um, and then yeah follow us on Instagram at Small Talk Wines um, and Facebook as well we like to post about yeah everything new that we're doing here thank you so very much for the time no problem